Hello everybody, I'd like to show you my Harbor Freight two horse dust extractor modification. I've been watching many, many videos for the last few weeks on um, on YouTube about what people are doing, how they're doing it. And let me show you what I came up with. Well, I got the Jimitsu Sane Smart 4040 from uh, um, Sane Smart. They sent it out to me to uh, test and review, and I think I've done one or two videos on it. I've got a lot more to do, but I've been trying to get my dust extractor up and running properly. Because if you run a shop back with the cyclone for a long period of time, you'll burn up the shop back or it'll clog it, it'll overheat and shut down. So I went to, finally went to Harbor Freight, bought a dust extractor, and instead of getting a dust deputy, my friend Tom Lama from Lama Makes over on Printables, uh, he designed his own little cyclone. So I printed that out out of uh, PLA. I glued it all together and we're testing it out for the first time. I just tried this right before I started filming and my trash can lid did have a bow in the top like a spaceship and then it sucked it flat with all the suction it kind of scared me actually because it went kabang you know and it sucked it flat so but so far so good um the filter there i believe it's a donaldson i'll put the name here on the screen i couldn't afford to get a win this is like a hundred dollars cheaper it's a, a commercial filter used in large equipment i believe i'm not sure a cat or a diesel not a diesel truck but some kind of real large piece of equipment is what that filter is used for. It's got a carry handle on the top and a hole where possibly the rod and nut would go through to secure it. So I went ahead and put some, uh, uh, what do you call it, foil tape on the inside and out to cover that hole. It's a very heavy filter. I'll put the price and the links below in the description where I got that from. But I think it was like around 170 shipped, but I believe so. And then I got some turnbuckles from Lowe's. Drilled four holes, simply grabbed the mesh, and I got to turn buckle down. And then I've got a piece of plywood in the top and in the bottom. And then on a few videos, people weren't using bags, and they were using buckets. So I got on Amazon, and I ordered this part that you'll see right here on the screen. And then I cut it out with a uh, saber saw. And, uh, yeah, and then I got attached, and I siliconed everything up. And on the bottom there, you can see the wood. And I've got it screwed in. And then I've got it leveled on my shelf. Got it mounted securely. I showed a picture a couple days ago where I had this two-horse motor mounted on the wall on a smaller piece of wood. But it wasn't in the corner. So that was definitely a boo-boo. So I had to take it all back apart. Remount it on a larger piece of wood. And I can only grab three studs. So I ran the bolts from the bottom out. That way they don't hit the stud underneath in the center. And then I used a piece of 2 by 3 You can see right here. That way, when the motor was mounted to the wood, I could lift it up there, which is extremely heavy, set it on the shelf, basically hold it in place with one hand, then I could run screws in, uh, various wood screws or drywall screws, a little bit of both, and attach that. And then I took the stock tube from Harbor Freight, I cut that down, put on some hose clamps. Now down here, I believe I got a picture I can show you, but... Uh, Tom Lama had this this hole here for my purposes was a little bit too small So I bought a cup link and I uh, Siliconed in a cup link So this pipe is going over a big white cup link and then I've got it tightened down and as you can see it's a little loose I got to snug that up a little tighter there and the same there got a couple hose clamps And then I got a couple of big shelf brackets mounted into a stud and then to get the height just right I got it sitting on two by fours and then in the back there I've got a two by four that this collector is pushed up against that way it lines up now i could have put tape on that but it, i had a piece of extra hose so it's better just to clamp it but so far so good got a lot of suction this piece here is not glued in it's kind of wedged in there i could put tape on that but anyway here's what it sounds like and if we come over here to the cnc Got a lot of suction. And sure, four inch, five inch would be a better way to go. But for the time being, I've got, I believe it's what, two and a half or three inch here. And that's what I'm working with. So I'm sure I'll make modifications or I'll find things that work better. And my dust boot here, as you guys seen in the prior live stream, I had the magnets weren't holding it on properly. So I put little pieces of black duct tape on all four sides to hold it, but it fell down. I got tied, caught up in the bit, and I chewed up the, chewed it up. So whenever I want to film something and show it, I'll leave this one on here as it is, and it will suck up most of the debris. 
then I've got my other shoe here that I reprinted and instead of putting magnets on it I just glued it together so it's just completely glued together and then when I want to do a job and it doesn't matter if I get a good camera angle I'll simply pop this one on it'll be good to go and this one can't fall apart like I say I glued it together and then for other jobs I can have it open like this which sucks up most of my debris but as far as for MDF this is going to be perfect um, get everything grab my tape measure here yeah it's a three inch hose yeah that's a three inch hose and then I believe this other one here is a five inch yeah it's a five inch that's a four inch so three to four to five so far so good seems like it's going to work out okay it's mounted solid so I guess that'll about wrap it up but the trash can I went down and got the Lowe's it's metal it had a slight bow in the top but it was still flat enough on the top that I was able to cut out the hole with my jigsaw screw down the lid and then I put some silicone around it really well and then once I turned it on the, the vacuum turned everything on the, the pressure sucked that lid flat so it took the bow out of it so but at least it didn't crush the trash can but right now for stock setup I don't know if I'll ever replace the impeller and put a bigger one on it it draws more amps burn a little more power on startup it this might be work might, might work perfectly fine for what I've got going on here and I got a flag on the wall I got to do some cleanup hang up some more stuff I got some more signs but I got to get the next job of going so I need to get in the house, throw this video up on YouTube, and get the next one going. And Saint Smart has their rotary act. Rotary is coming out. It's in the mail. I should have it here soon. And I'll be doing a rotary with the Saint Smart Jimitsu 4040 Pro. And the rotary you can only do small objects, but I'll be able to turn them right here on the bed. Small objects because the machine has to sit within the frame. So you know this is much bigger than I could have a bigger rotary, but it is what it is. So there'll be a video coming out on that. And I'm trying out a bunch of their new blades that they're sending me. And uh, anyway, and that's kind of jerry-rigged. I got a bracket on the ceiling with some electrical wire holding the hose. I'll probably change that. But for now, uh, that'll work. So I hope you like it. Please like, subscribe, share. If you've got any questions, please ask. And uh, thank you everybody out there that's already done similar videos to this. I watched everybody's and this is what I came up with. And then instead of having the bag, like I say, hanging below, to catch a minute debris that doesn't get caught in the cyclone i put a bucket on it a lot of people have done that it looks a lot cleaner i'll see how it works out but for day one getting it finished right now this is what i got so i hope you like it um until next time i'll talk to you later guys see ya